problems. Okay, I'm staying put. Go ahead. Yeah, roger that, Mr. Clark. Uh, you go ahead and do what you need to do. Uh, is uh, Kevin staying in number one? Yes, he is. That's a smart move. Okay, here we go.
system gets a mixed signal like it's coming in, then it goes into PCS and negates all functions, which is a good thing, which is what it's supposed to do. But why this system is picking up signals from here or transferring signals to here, we don't know that. That's beyond our. We uh, shut the radio off in our number one locomotive. We're in 3098. And uh, we've got 19 cars loaded. There's 38 cars in this. We were pulling down here because the guy's up there at the loadout running the re this on a remote. So we're going to shut the radio off at number one locomotive. And uh, we're going to see if that alleviates the problem. So far it has. Pulling down here. Okay, this is our SD40-2. Number one locomotive on the other end is our SD38-2. Okay. So there you have it. I'm sitting here in case... I'm sitting here in this locomotive just in case things goof up again. And uh-oh, we went into emergency. Not good. You got PCS our number one, Kevin. I lost signal for you, dude. I can't hear that, Bob. I lost signal for number three. I don't have, I can't, I don't have any control over it. Yeah, uh, I don't have any PCS light on, though. Yeah, I think it just, uh, just stopped. Okay, you're going to try to reboot it? I can't from here. I'd have to come to the locomotive and re-IR. Okay, what do you need me to do, buddy? Uh, take the uh, car brake and take it off and wait, till, wait a couple seconds and then put it in manual lead. Okay, we'll go to manual lead. Okay, we're in manual lead, car brakes are off. Okay, you're gonna have to come to me. And uh, I'll try to load you up here, it's gonna go real easy. Okay, we're gonna load with uh, me running the locomotive, Roger. Yeah. Okay, I'll follow your instructions. That's probably a little beefy. <laughs> okay guys, I gotta get off of here. Never done this before. <laughs> just leave number one disabled and go ahead and try putting it in. What use one, two? Just get it moving a little bit and then two to make it go just slightly faster. Yeah, does the hump control work in this locomotive? It does. You can try it. It worked the last time I tried it. All right. Okay, guys, we'll be back. Okay, he's loading the car up there. Can't see it yet.
slower than that, Mr. Clark. I didn't turn the hump control on. You want to get started, but they got all kind of coal here at the print plant. Good, these things are backed up. You got to understand one thing, Miss. That uh, loading like this, those cars aren't going to turn out real pretty every time. Oh, well, I know. I'm done with your going, and I didn't do very well at all. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Okay, we got a lot of things going on. They're uh, behind the eight ball on the coal because this locomotive uh, was acting up. So they're hooking up the second train down there. They had the locomotive mechanics in today. They were going to put a couple power packs in. Uh, that got canceled because they got to get 22. They got to get another train up here to get rid of some of this coal. It's really good. Really good. See, I'm having lots of coal. But uh, they did change some. Uh, rockers on the engine and some uh, valve bridges there'll be another video on that sometime too uh, <laughs> but there I did uh, also we, uh, we had to break any action there I, I did try the re-hump control and it doesn't work now they have a hump control on their remote box and that's what they normally load with is that uh, hump control so there you go okay you, this is the way we used to do it when we only had single locomotive at the very beginning we had two guys on the uh, locomotive one guy would load the cars the other guy would do this both for uh, loading and unloading the cars. So I've done this way, way, way in the past. We didn't get the remote system in until about, uh, oh golly, I'm trying to remember, 1980. It was in the mid 80s when we got the remote system in for the second locomotive. I'll have to look that up. That's memories. That's those dates are not in my head. They're written down at home. But they got a remote in just to run the locomotive way before that. And I don't have a date on that. When that happened. Like I said, before that, this is the way we loaded the train. I've done that back in the early 1980s. I've done this Numerous times when they had problems or didn't have uh, another guy available. So. Uh, 12 feet. Eight. Six. Okay. Four. They're down three, there. Uh, two. One. You're top one. They're down there hooking up that uh, short trip right there with that. That's what's going on in the radio there. Okay, I clear my order down here. And also bail off the independent brake. That'll clear the order too. It's like a dead man. Function's gotta happen every so often or else that order goes off. Okay. with 
four. This is fun. <laughs> Don't like to see problems, but hey, you got problems, you deal with them, and you do what you have to do to get the coal moving. Okay.